Okay, so we're going to talk about comparing numbers. And when we compare numbers, we are basically taking two numbers and seeing which number is the larger quantity or the biggest number. So we use these three symbols right here. And one of the things you can think of, like, uh, think of an alligator that wants to eat the biggest number. This symbol is called greater than, because this the number on this side would be greater than the number on this side. This symbol is called less than, when it's opening up to the right hand side. And when both of the numbers are the same, it's equal to. And know that the symbol opens to the number with the larger quantity or the bigger number. So let's take a look at a number of, um, of different problems. We're going to compare the numbers using these symbols. So the first thing we do, if we have two numbers that are just in the ones place, we just look at each number, okay? Four and six here. And six, I have my six down here. I have my four down here. I know that I have more here, so this is a, a greater quantity. So I'm going to use that symbol right there okay because it's opening up to the, the number with the larger quantity so that one's quite simple but let's look when we have numbers in the ones and the tens place okay now both these numbers have numbers in the tens and the ones so we're gonna start with the largest value, in this case, the largest place value, in this case is the tens. Well, I have two groups of ten on this side and one group of ten on this side. When that happens, the number with the largest digit in the tens, that becomes the larger number. So 24 is greater than 15. Okay. So I looked at the largest one, in this case the tens, and when I looked at the tens, this one had more. So let me now look at numbers that, that have the same digit in the tens place. So both of these have ones and tens, ones and tens. I'm still going to look at the number in the tens place first. But guess what? I have the same number in both tens places. Two groups of ten, two groups of ten. So now I have to look at the number in the ones place. I scoot it over. Well, this one has a four and this one has a two. Four and two. So I know that this number, 24, is a larger quantity. And I know that my symbol has to open up to the number with the larger quantity, the bigger number. Think of it as a hungry alligator that's going to eat the bigger number. Now sometimes they don't always have numbers in the tens and the ones. Let's look at this next one. This one has a number in the hundreds place and a number in the tens place. Well, since this one has a number in the hundreds place, and this one doesn't, look over the hundred, there's nothing here. It only has ones and tens. This one has ones, tens, and hundreds. When that's the case, the number that, this one's automatically bigger. Because these two hundreds are more than anything that is over here. This doesn't even have enough to add up to one of these hundreds. Okay. So if one has more digits, this one has three digits, ones, tens, and hundreds, and this one only has two, that number is going to be larger. It's going to have a greater quantity. But when I look at this number right here, 343 and 141, they both have numbers in the ones, tens, and hundreds. Ones, tens, and hundreds. So I'm going to compare my number in the hundreds first, because that's the largest place value. Well, this one has three. This one has one. That one's greater than. 343 is greater than 141. 
These three hundreds are more than all of these combined. So let's look at the next one though. Let's look. 243. I'm looking at, they both have ones, tens, and hundreds, so I'm going to start looking at the hundreds, and they're the same. Two hundreds and two hundreds. Well, now I have to go next door and check the tens. Scoop my arrows over. Four and four, they're the same. One, two, three, four tens. One, two, three, four tens. Well, I still haven't figured out which one's bigger yet. So I'm going to scoot over to the ones place now. And when I do that, I see that five is a larger quantity than three. There's one, two, three, four, five ones, and one, two, three. So they have the same amount of um, hundreds, same number in the hundreds place, same number in the tens place. So I had to go to the ones place and 3 is less than 5. So 245 is a greater quantity. So 243 is less than 245. 245 is the larger number with the larger quantity. Okay. So if I add thousands to the mix, I'm still going to do things the same way. Okay. This one has ones, tens, hundreds, thousands ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. I'm going to add a little comma right here. It's always good to have a comma in there. Okay. So I'm going to look at the number of the largest place value. In this case it's the thousands. And look, this one has two thousands. This one only has one thousand. See, I have two of these cubes and only one of these cubes. So I know that 2,245 is larger than 1,243. So 1,243 is less than 2,245. Okay, so when I compare numbers, I'm always going to use these three symbols and it's going to open up to the number that is the larger quantity. Think of it as an alligator trying to eat the bigger number. Okay, so when we have tens and ones, we start with the, with the larger um, place value. In this case, that's the tens. In this case, that's the hundreds. If one has hundreds and the other one doesn't, or if it had thousands and the other one doesn't, that one's always going to be the larger quantity.